Hi, this is Valerie from A Nation of Moms, and this is yet another installment of our WordPress for Beginners. And um, in this one, I'm going to be talking about just highlighting a couple of um, WordPress plugins um, that I that I really rather enjoy. Now, um, in the in the post, I talked a few, about a few more, but um, I did want to show you a couple of things. Um, one of them was add rotate so um, once you have that um, install that plugin installed you can go to add rotate and you can see um, you can see quite a bit um, of information now I want to show you how um, how to actually I'm going to go back really quickly I want to show you something um, how to add this um, there's, um, you know, ad rotate is, is basically for your ads. Like if you look on mine, I have ads here, um, and I have ads here, have ads here, I have ads everywhere. Um, and the good thing about ad rotate is that it does exactly what it says. It rotates um, your ads. So if you have, like for instance, if I had more than four to put in this location right here, it, it can, um, you can hold as many as you want on there and you can set the settings for however many you want. You can put two here, you can put one, you can put eight, you can put as many as you want and it rotates through them. So next time you may not see these um, particular ones. So if you look at these right here, there's um, four moms, eco moms, um, hay needle and coal craft. If I refresh, um, we'll see which ones come up. It won't be the same ones. See, uh, coal craft came back up, but um, Phil and Ted's and Boone and and um, um, heirloom wooden toys were the ones that came up. So it rotated through my ads. That's a nicer way of doing trying to include uh, if you have a lot of ad sponsors of including them without. Um, making your site look so cluttered with all of the, the ads. Now, um, it's really easy. I'm going to put the code on the post, but um, if you just use this code, if you just copy and paste, then all you have to do is change where you find the image, obviously. Um, and then um, you can have those, if you look on here, if I click on this, it won't go, let me click on it, it won't go to anywhere else but where I specified it, which is Colecraft's website. And so that's the that's the greatest thing about that. And you can display it, change the display when it ends. And um, you could say activate it or not activate it. Um, there's different things you can do and you will definitely get a preview right here if you've got the right um, the right picture up. So you can see. This is where you would put the um, the URL of where you want it to go to when people click on it. Um, and then you want to enable it, make sure you enable it. Um, and then there's, you know, you can change the weight, which means, you know, how, how visible do you want this to be? Do you want it to come up, you know, normal coverage? Do you want less than average coverage? Do you want it to come up, you know, more often than the other um, ads? That's where you would change this. So, and you can, you can click on here and look at how many, what you can do right here. Um, you can put a, a, set a maximum number of clicks or a maximum number of impressions. You can set a bunch of things on here. So, and make sure you save the ad. And then you can put select a group. Um, these are things that um, I'm not going to get into, but you can you can make groups so that it's, it's easier for you to remember what ads belong to what groups, and you can select a group that it belongs to, and um, and then you can of course save it, and then you can come to your widgets um, if you look. And I actually created blocks as well, so if I look at blocks, um, I can I can click um, I can look at groups, my ads are, are, are categorized into groups and those groups are categorized into blocks. And so I, I specify that here, um, which I said it's really easy to do. Then I select the groups that I want to be in this block. This one's just one. And then it can tell you um, 
all kinds of things. I mean, you can you can see right here how many impressions um, total today, how many clicks, all of that for each individual ad, for each individual block of ads or groups of ads. You can do all kinds of things and you can report all of that to your um, particular advertiser. So um, that's why I like Ad Rotate so much. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you was um, down here, Featured Gallery. Now if you look on my homepage, you will see this right here and it's the featured content. Now it rotates through, you can click and scroll and do all of this, it rotates through all of the featured ads, I mean, sorry, it rotates through all of the featured articles that I have on there, um, which need to be updated. <laughs> um, there have been some extra ones I need to put on there. But I love this because um, the way that I have set up my, my particular homepage, my theme, is um, I've only shown you know, a few recent articles right here on the left-hand side. And um, sometimes I, I want to showcase some more, some other ones, some older ones, or or I want to recycle them, or I want to show, you know, just um, for whatever reason I want to showcase particular ones. So this is where I do that. And I honestly, I love this, this um, particular plugin. So if you go, once you have it activated, if you go here, um, you, um, all you have to do, and you can customize the, the width and the height and the, the border and background color, the text color, you can do all of that. You can customate, cu um, customize it here. Um, the other thing that, but the one thing that I did want to show you that you have to do is um, you would, these right here, these numbers are my post um, IDs, my individual posts that I want to show them. And in the order um, that I want to show them, you put them with, and separate them with commas with, at, with no, um, oops, with no spaces. So um, I have, let's see, let's go through here. I've got 13 featured articles, it says right here. So that's, um, then that's the order that I wanted them in. So if I look on here, and how do I get these numbers? That's what I wanted to show you. If you go to posts, um, let's go to, oh, not coming up. If you go to posts, there we go. And let's go to um, let's go to this one because I know this one's on there. So I'll edit this one. And um, what I need to do first of all is if you look at the very top right here, you can see on the URL you can see that this is post eighty-eight twenty-four. So that would be the post ID. Um, you can also look under get um, get short link right here, and you can see that this is post 8824. That's the number that I would use on that featured gallery um, post ID. Now, the other thing that I need to do before I do that is come down here, and I would need to add custom fields. Now, um, let me get... You, this is this is the photo. The custom field would be the photos. Sorry, let's get rid of this feature content. Um, would be the photo that shows up right here. This is what we're doing, and the little thumbnail image that shows up. So usually I try to keep those the same because um, it's less of a hassle. But you, of course you can have them differently, um, different pictures. Now I'm going to go to my library, and let's say I just want this one right here. So what I do is I click on the link URL to the picture. Um, this happens to be it. Um, it's um, where I can find that photo on my blog, uploaded on my blog. And I come down here. And you kind of have to tweak it a little bit because you don't want it to be too big. Remember, um, let me go back, let me backtrack a little bit. Um, where is it? Let's put it up here. Now, um, remember, this is um, the gallery width and height that I um, that I chose that I particularly chose for my um, 
for my featured content gallery. Now you don't want the pictures to really exceed that. You want it to be able to fit in that so that it'll look nice. Otherwise, it'll be cut off a little bit like this. Sometimes I don't always um, follow my own suggestions. But see, this is a nicer little picture. Um, this one's a nicer picture. It fits in there. See, this one doesn't quite fit as well and neither does this one, but um, you know this one fits a little bit better. So you want it to look as nice as possible. So you want the picture to be as um, close to, to these um, height and width as possible. But um, you know, you can do that, oops, where'd it go? There it is. You can do that, um, you know, in your media library, you can edit the photo there and edit the dimensions there. But um, you would go down here, once everything is done, you would go down here and you would add to where it says custom fields, you would add a new custom field and it would be um, article image and that would be the actual image that shows up on the main part of the featured gallery. So I would copy it where I would paste it right there and then I would say add and it would add and then I would add another one because I want a thumbnail image so I'm add, adding a thumbnail image and I want the same picture so custom field add custom field and there it is and then I make sure that I save it um, and of course you can always delete it here and I'm going to delete it because I'm not going to use this that was just an example but um, so it's really easy to do and it shows up quite nicely so that's those are two of my favorite um, plugins and um, just I just wanted to highlight those.